right-click the message received from Mary Jones, and select Receive Changes from the Context menu. Changes are received, so the issue is handled. Therefore, the message is moved to the completed category. Select File, Libraries and Objects, Library Manager. As you can see in the Library Manager dialog, the new auxiliary library is now loaded into Joe Smith's project. Click Cancel to leave this dialog. Switch to the ARCHICAD instance of Mary Jones. Double-click to activate the 5.1.1 Stairs preset view located in the Chapter 5 folder of the Navigator view map. A staircase from the project opens in the 3D window. Mary Jones, the lead architect, would like to ask Joe Smith to develop some design alternatives for the railings of this staircase. Click to activate the Stair tool in the toolbox. Select the Edit, Select All Stairs command to select all the stairs in the 3D window. Right-click elsewhere in the 3D window and select the Reserve Selected Elements option from the Context menu. Activate the Context menu once again and select the Assign Selected Elements to Joe Smith option to assign the stairs to Joe. Let's also send an accompanying message to Joe Smith explaining the design task. In the upcoming dialog, delete the default text. Enter. Please create some railing alternatives for these stairs and share the results with me. Finally, click Assign to proceed. The stairs elements are now grayed out in the project belonging to Mary Jones since they no longer belong to her workspace. Switch to the ARCHICAD instance of Joe Smith. In the Messages panel of the Teamwork palette, right-click the new message Joe just received from Mary and select Show Elements from the Context menu. A 3D exonometric view opens the program selects the stairs Mary assigned to Joe and zooms in on them. Double-click to activate the 5.1.1 Stairs preset view. This gives a better view on the stairs. We will create a new stair geometry which will be exactly the same as the one on the existing stairs. They will differ only in the railing characteristics. We will learn how to use the Embedded Library Parts feature to store these project-specific library parts within the Teamwork project file. Click the Edit Stair button in the Info box. The Stair Maker Editor window comes up where you can modify the stair settings. Switch to the Railing Settings tab page of the dialog. Click to select the middle of the three railing segmenting buttons at the top. Click any of the railings in the preview window on the right to highlight them. We will set a different type of inner surface railing along the whole length of the stair. Select the Post with Balusters option in the drop down list below Railing Settings. Click the Save As button in the lower left area of the dialog. As you can see, the Save To field displays Embedded Library for this option. The embedded library parts are permanently stored within the Teamwork project. It is recommended to save project-specific library parts, such as stairs, as embedded libraries. Enter three flight balusters in the name field. Then click the Save button to save the stair with this new name. 
Let's create one more railing alternative using the same steps as before. Select Wired in the drop down list below Railing setting. Click Save As and enter 3 Flight Wire in the name field of the appearing dialog. Finally, click the Save button to save it in the embedded library. We now have both of our stair alternative objects created and saved. Click the Cancel button in the Stair Settings dialog to return to ARCHICAD. Make sure that the stairs are still selected in the project and assign them to Mary Jones with the help of the context menu. Keep the default message text and click Assign to send it. ARCHICAD notifies you to send the project changes to the BIM server in order to be able to assign the stairs to another team member. Click Assign and Send in the upcoming dialog. Switch to the ARCHICAD instance of Mary Jones. Activate the Send and Receive Changes from the Workspace panel of the Teamwork palette to receive the latest stage of the project from the BIM server. Select the Stairs, then click the Stair Settings dialog button in the Info box to open the Stair Selection Settings dialog. Click the Embedded Library item in the list of libraries in the left pane. Control Alt click on Windows or Command Option click on Mac, the three flight balusters stair in the list of stairs to transfer its parameters. Finally, click OK to leave this dialog. The staircase now displays the first railing alternative. Click the Next button in the info box to go to the next stair element in the embedded libraries. This will be the stair with wired railings. You can watch as the stairs update to reflect the change in the railing design. Select the Edit Undo menu command twice to undo these two changes and switch back to the original stair railing. With the stair still selected, click the Release button on the Teamwork palette. Send the changes when asked in the upcoming dialogue. 